Hello and welcome to Digital Generals uh, Field of Glory Billy Serious Campaign. Um, this is game uh, three, and this is video three as well. And so the battle is finally getting started in earnest. We had some light skirmishing on the right side, and the infantry line started to form into its defensive formation. And there was some skirmishing here with uh, uh, his uh, cavalry line, but the cavalry has not committed yet. And uh, he's, he's looking for weak points, and so it's very important for me to not give them any weak points and basically form up a, a bit of a defensive formation. So that's what I'm going to try to attempt to do. Uh, and at the same time, do my best to win some combats here before he can muster his the rest of his forces and basically come to the rescue of, uh, of his beleaguered smaller cavalry force. So let's start with... Uh, this side. What do we want to do? So uh, these archers are pinned down <coughs> by the cavalry. I mean, it's hard to use archers when uh, I think I shouldn't have left them in the flank. Is what's my the problem is that if I had some infantry around them, I could have been uh, protecting them, but I didn't, and so now I'm going to pay for it. So what I want to do is I, I'm going to risk pulling them back. Uh, they're next to their uh, commander in chief. They're still in their own general's command. They have a fair chance of passing this command check. And and I'm going to withdraw them so that uh, this cavalry shouldn't be able to pursue them because they should be locked in by my zone of control. Or, although they are cavalry, so I'm not. Don't remember if that uh, cavalry can also uh, can can evade it, but I think they, they can't. In any case, I definitely don't want them just sitting here in the open getting uh, charged by these noble lancers. So uh, let's pull them back, and they hold firm. So they pass. Fantastic. And they uh, they'll actually uh, fire. And they withdraw, do some damage. Nothing spectacular, but uh, just whittling down uh, the, the enemy. Okay, um, these skirmishers, I'll pull them to the side here because I still want um, them to be a bit of a target. And do a bit of shooting damage. This infantry needs to run over as fast as it can. And they need to be positioned. These skirmishers. Yeah, let's put them up here. And yeah, let's do, do a little bit of damage. So this is not doing much, it's just whittling down the, the enemy troops. A little bit, I mean, it's much better to concentrate fire, but it's not always possible. Um, and it does look like I'll need Belisarius to basically start plugging in these gaps. I mean, I, I need to not have <coughs> the enemy completely uncontested. And these armored uh, noble dancers are uh, very much a ma uh, match for me, except I. Oh, uh, yeah, they're armored, but I'm highly superior. Otherwise, armored lancers, so uh, it's going to be. Yeah, so these are basically even matches, um, and he outnumbers me, so this is a bit of a desperate move, but I want to make sure that at least I'm threatening his uh, a little bit while I reposition my, my infantry. So that is that. Um, I'm not going to be charging with these units, I want them to be uh, very much defensive, not offensive here. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, good, good, good. Sorry, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So uh, this light horse is, uh, yeah, they're because they're, uh, they're highly superior. That's why they keep passing. So they're eating a lot of casualties. Uh, they're these, these fierce nomads. Um, the Hanuk allies are doing really well holding up these vandal heavy horse, but they're going to lose. Um, it's just a matter of time, and they unfortunately, unfortunately, they can't withdraw. And <clears throat> so the best I can do is basically. I mean, I'll be able to maybe charge or annoy or do something here with these light uh, horse, but nothing great. Um, however, the cavalry can actually do something useful here. So, let's see if I can get them in position. And, uh, yeah, now they're slightly disordering my, my, my nomads, which is not ideal. Uh, not ideal, but uh, that's okay. Okay, um... All right, so my horse archers and these lancers here. Yeah, these 
these are not touched yet. Alright, so I do need to turn around this unit. In general. Let's try to face. Perfect. That was a lucky, lucky shot. So I actually disrupted the second cavalry now too. So he's got two disrupted units, which is um, very good. That that was not. I mean, they're superior too. So that was actually yeah, just a lucky occurrence. Um, but <clears throat> that's great. So I'm starting to hobble his his uh, units a little bit. Okay. Now, can we? Yeah. So we can actually get into these noble lancers, and they're disrupted. So I have a reasonable chance of. Um, making them flee. Because if I win on impact and cause them to be just uh, fragmented and then uh, on the follow-up combat um, happens... Okay, it was a tie, so... Not that great, but at least they're tied up and... Yeah, that's good. And But I do need to protect their back because these armored um, lancers can just slam it to their, their back, so... Um, yeah, what I, so I think they can act as protectors. And, uh, yeah, make sure that they don't get flank charge. So now they're also not going to get flank charge. If they get charge, it'll be a front charge, and um, they can act as a bit of a screen. But my general should be able to come in and switch to here. It's also a tie. Uh, Alright, that's less, less than ideal. I was hoping for a bit more damage, but uh, but not, not this time. So <clears throat> this unit is actually now quite severely outnumbered. They'll, they'll flee eventually. It's just a matter of whether I have enough time to, to act on it. Uh, okay, so this fight is not in my advantage, but I held it. That's good. And then gives me time for my other units to come in and support. Or, uh, yeah, they're starting to lose, but they're still hoarding for them, so they're, at some point they're just going to flee because they'll have enough casualties, they'll auto route. Um, yeah, we'll see, how that, we'll see how long they can hold. Okay, uh, can anyone else shoot? No. My infantry can move, and that's it. So, do I want to do, do anything with this wing or not? I do feel like I kind of need more infantry in the back here. Yeah. Yeah, let's push them back. And then we'll try to turn them around next time. It's a little... yeah, that's all I can do. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Alright, they rounded it off, great. Alright, the charge invade, fantastic, but my archers are trapped again, that's less fantastic. So I think I'm probably going to end up losing the archers to the cavaliers. I expose them too much. Alright, um... Yeah, so this worked exactly the way as I wanted, where uh, these vandals were not able to rear charge my, my units, they had to charge the other units. Okay, yeah. The archers are about to get overrun. That holds. He's concentrating his cavalry on this infantry fine. Man, these gonna be kind of telling you they're tough as it is. Alright, fragmented. Oh man, they have fruit. I was hoping they would rout. But they will rout this, this turn. So Okay, um Right, so so yeah, these archers are are basically they're they're done. Uh, there's no way to save them, so now it's more about <clears throat> how do I not lose more of my army? And so I want to you know, I'll pull back my infantry, form up a line, and, and uh, basically yeah, I'm sorry, form an auxilia. It um, was nice knowing you, and then bring in these this infantry reinforcements. Yeah. Yeah, they can turn off. 
face and just shoot, that's okay. It's still annoying them. They can do it. So is anyone a little bit wounded, a little bit wounded? No, yeah, uh, yeah, they are. Okay. Alright, let's just concentrate here. This is a losing battle, either way, so and I can commit the Bell's areas, but that's just very risky because it's basically a 50-50, and I don't know how well he'll do, so I think what I want to do instead is... Expand my line... Well, there's two choices, basically, and I'm just thinking about this, like, either be a bit more aggressive and, and kind of try to expand my line and, and bait his cavalry into charging, uh, but this is probably going to go poorly, or try to pull back and, and basically try to form up against my, um, I guess the, the, the cavalry as he comes in. So pull back my, my infantry, pull back the cavalry, and and, and form that, that semicircle. And you know what, I think that's what I'm going to try to do. It's not be the most glorious, but I think that will work better. So. Let's pull back here. They, yep, they confirm. Good old Roman military discipline. And Belzerius will also pull back. And this unit. Yeah, let's also pull back. Okay, so. I'm forming that, that uh, basically defensive square that I talked about, uh, and now, yeah, this infantry can come in here and turn and basically support my, uh, my line and give these uh, the, this uh, unit time to come up here, form up, and we'll see if we can how long we can hold up this this cavalry horde uh, bouncing off my, uh, my square. <laughs> I'm actually really curious how that goes. Okay, uh, now here, so this is one of those uh, things I was talking about where, uh, you know, even if I put my unit uh, on the flank here and charge, it won't be a flank charge because I'm starting in front of the, of the enemy unit. So, uh, so I can I can do this, uh, but it's a bad idea because I'll lose this combat and um, yeah, it's just not not worth it. What's better is if I get myself in position to do potentially a flank charge next time. So I think that's what I'll do. Uh, but, as always, let's first simplify the situation. So if we can get this unit to flee, uh, there will probably be a bunch of following cavalry charges. Uh, so I definitely want to do something here to relieve the pressure. Yeah, so when, uh, cause the, and also uh, this uh, the unit fleeing uh, will cause cohesion tests. So this is, yeah, this unit's disrupted, so that, yeah, that's the only reason I'm still actually do, hanging in here with my archers. <laughs> yeah, so I think, yeah, I think I'm going to come in with them, see if I can break them. Once it breaks, fantastic, okay. Alright, everyone held firm, but I did get a rear attack on charge. We fragmented and we broke the routing. And this this firm flank attack is charging. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about. This is one of those like, dominoes that went really well. Because I was able to surround his horse. And once the units started fleeing, and cavalry is very dynamic, so they pursue, uh, they were able to get in behind the enemy and keep charging and basically <coughs> simplify this line uh, significantly. So they're fragmented now, so now this charge actually makes sense, so I'll, I will do that. This, these units are steady still. And okay, that's that went, that went very well. Very well. Now my general has is a little bit overextended, uh, so there is a chance he will get flank charged by this unit, and I can't 
bring in anyone to protect him. Because everyone is engaged. Okay, let's keep simplifying as I, as I like to say. So let's see if I can get the general here to flee. Oh, hold firm, hold firm. And they held firm. Okay, that, yeah, unfortunately they did not flee. Um, Oh, they still might though. I still have one more combat. Alright, let's see if my uh, veteran Byzantine Lancers can rout the general. Alright, let's do this. Nope. They held firm. Uh, but you know, can't complain. I mean, this is a tremendous uh, turn so far, so uh, this this unit will flee. I mean, when it's surrounded, it's just uh, unfortunately not going to flee this turn. Okay, what do we want to do? So. Yeah, I think I want to... So this is... Yeah, this is where I'm going to try to be overly clever. So I have this light uh, cavalry, and then the, the kind of the immediately obvious thing to do is just to flank charge this, uh, these noble lancers, but they actually won't win, probably. Uh, I mean, they might win in, in the impact, and then they'll lose combat, eventually. They won't drop cohesion. Um, or I can come up here and tie up the enemy unit in my zone of control and shoot them up and get behind them. Um, that's a better move. So I can start harassing his back lines and bring in my camels. And so here the impact's not going to be great, but I should be able to win it maybe eventually. And, and I'm starting to you know moderately disorder the, his units as well, so that'll be good. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be not good. These are better light cavalry, so they'll probably lose my open range. So I'll lose two cavalry. Nope, they're disrupted. We lost badly. <laughs> so, yeah, they'll probably flee next turn, which is definitely not ideal. Okay, um, that's. I think that's it. Can anyone else shoot? No, uh, I can't move my legionaries, but they're in good positions. Oh, right, my archers will now get mauled. And, of course, yeah, that's... Yeah. Fortunately, everyone else is held firm, but these guys are quite dead. I was not able to save them. They were, they were much too much to the flank, and, um, yeah, that was, that was just hopeless. Okay, good. Um, so, <clears throat> so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's do one more turn. All right, let's do this. Come in those areas. Good, my general did not pursue. That's, that's really nice. He stays. He stays. They're coming in. They're coming in. Hey, my skirmish is baited. Great. My general's starting to in. Hit impact. Yep. They bounced. Fantastic. So my little uh, information is what was intended. Okay. Yep. These guys are fragmented now. That's. Oh, oh, I got disrupted. Firm. Enemy has been disrupted. Firm. Alright, General Pope. That's tremendous. Okay, yeah, my archers can disperse into the area today. An impact charge on their own volition. Right, so, so a bunch of things simplified here, uh, the enemy general fled, now he's likely to potentially rally, so he's, I don't think he's out of the game yet, um, and unfortunately I can't do anything because I'm pursuing, um, but at least it's, uh, I, I'm just, I did kind of uh, push away the, the cavalry and I'm getting, if I win this uh, cavalry skirmish I'll be coming in behind him, which is a really good place to be. Um, and then here, my archers got trashed, that is unfortunate. <clears throat> I'm gonna, yeah, so this is where I, okay, so I need to redress my iron. So I'm gonna blow through with my uh, scorchers, pass through, and let's just move up the infantry. Take a turn to face. Take a turn to face. 
What can we do with my journal? Um, nothing good. I think he's going to get trashed. Um, well, I mean, he's, he's actually at advantage. So I think if I can support him, it might not be too bad. So let's get some infantry here in support. And yeah, let's see if anything if we can hold I mean he's yep, he's he's holding on to it. Formed up an RC. And hopefully we can buy enough time for the rest of for this uh, cavalry to win the battle. Go Byzantine cavalry. Alright, um so what's going on here? can charge them because, um, yeah, I just do too far away, but I can turn and shoot, so I might as well do that, that's fine. Just, just I shouldn't win this, they're fragmented, so that's a good combat. Now this is a bad combat, so I'd rather do this last. Uh, this is a good combat. They're not, yeah, they're moderately disordered, they're not fragmented. Uh, these archers can come in here. Um, they probably lose an impact, which is actually kind of funny. But I think what I want to do with them is actually just... Yeah. The, the general is... He's not pursuing. Oh, right, zone of control. Right, so I can turn and face here. And shoot. Yeah, let's do that. They're pursuing. The armored lads. Okay. I don't have my choice, I have to turn and face, shoot, and I think I want to do the same thing with these archers, but I'm not going to do that yet because depending on how the combats go, I might want to come in here and actually do something. Yeah, see, like, so this armored noble lancers are now disrupted, and this is still a terrible for my poor nomad horse uh, archers, no, sorry, no, nomad light horse archers, and it's so terrible because they're uh, they're swordsmen, they're they're great troop quality, um, but the enemy has multiple opposing units and combat strength, so they've been basically really trained, and it's disordered. Uh, no, they're both this one. This one. Okay, right, so, in any case, bottom line is, here, uh, there is, these guys took a lot of combat losses, they're basically at half strength, and so, they're just hanging on there. So I have a choice, I can either come in here with my, uh, with my archers, and probably lose an impact, but, win on melee, or I can bring them up here, and, shoot up the, the enemy. Um, but no, I think I want to do this. And, yeah, tie up the, the enemy with even more, more units. Alright, uh, Camel's next. They have a decent chance of winning. Let's see. They won. They, but, yeah, they just caused some casualties and the enemy held firm. You have to fight these, which are both terrible losses and level fragmented. Yeah, they're, they're not going to lose. Probably the. Yeah, okay, they did hold for, but they're nothing the next turn, so this is. Uh, no, no way around it. I mean, they're light horse, they got. But they did a fantastic job holding up a lot of enemy units, so they are, they are MVPs of the game so far. Just with their ability to stand the same damage. Okay, um, right, what's going on here? So. <coughs> Right, this is a terrible uh, comment for me because I'm fragmented, but I do have some horse archers here that can support. Yeah, Fortunately, my, the rest of my army is holding from a couple of generals, but these guys are routing, and uh, there's nothing I can do for that. <clears throat> okay, anyone else can shoot? No. Just my legionaries can move, and Billy Zerius, who yeah, doesn't actually want to do anything. I don't think I want to withdraw him. Do I? I withdraw him. 
he'll be really pressuring my infantry. No, I need I need him to to hold the line. Hopefully, this is not a mistake. But um, uh, okay, yeah, let's see what uh, the enemy does. All right, that enemy keeps pursuing. That's too bad. Uh, they keep writing. That's fantastic. They keep writing. So charge. Confirm. Charge. The series is in the thick of it now. And the enemy fell back. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, that won't help. Oh, oh. The archers were able to fall back, so they took a bunch of casualties, but they are archers and they were able to fall back, so that's great. <laughs> okay, that really helped okay, me. They're still holding for a minute. Like, what, what is that? Um, I just got the achievement and luck lucky. Because, okay, so. Uh, as, as I'm learning the game, and as uh, you're learning the game potentially, so they lost. Uh, this is what the top says, and the bottom says is uh, what, how their cohesion test goes, so whether they flee or not. And so they're fragmented, but there's an IS2. They're below 50 strength, they're below 75 strength, so they're very depleted. They took a lot of casualties, uh, they lost the combat badly, so their total modifier minus 6. So. I think the, the, the system is like you will, uh, it's basically like 2d6 uh, virtual, minus the modifier, and you have to get above 6. And so this is essentially them rolling um, like you know, two sixes to pass. Like this is unprecedented or uh, very unlikely. So MVPs for sure. And the enemy fragment is up top. I guess my camels is great. And here the enemy have firm. Again, and that's it. Okay, that was uh, quite the turn. So, Belizarius beat back a half-hearted uh, attack from the general. So the generals met, and nothing was decided. And uh, up here, my fierce nomad light horse archers are truly fierce, and they should have fled a long time ago. So thank you, uh, thank you, nomad horse archers. Um, and that's it. With that, we'll, um, we'll call it a, a video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.